Did you ever wonder what it takes to get a lobster caught in the sea to your table? Well, chances are, if you're dining on the North Shore, you came across a lobster caught by the sea anchor. Meet Captain Teresa. She's one of just a handful of women in the lobster industry. And for her, her passion for lobstering came at an early age. I lived by the water and I just used to go down on the wharf and nobody knew what I was back then. So, And then I had a little rowboat and this guy gave me some of his old traps. They were wooden traps back then. And I go, well, I can do this. Took the traps and they were amazed because I caught lobsters in them. And at that exact moment, her life and the lobster industry changed. How do you know where all your, your lines of traps are? For one, I got a good memory. These little marks right here. So the little squares. The little squares are where they are. It's a two-person job here. Teresa's job is to haul up the traps, and then they get passed down the line, the lobsters get taken out, they get rebated, and then they go back into the inner harbor. How are we going to ban these? Right here, look. This one like this, and then take one hand like this. One. There's two. There you go. This lobster is getting ready to shed its shell, but it hasn't shed in a long time. That's why it has all these barnacles on it. Have you ever been bit by one of the lobsters? Yeah, yeah I'm a bit, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you like this, I put my hand, another one keep me, you know, my finger. I got to cut to her, you know, put the fly. You know. There's something magical, even surreal, about the summer sun as it rises over the Beverly Harbor. Lobster fishing with Captain Teresa and her first mate, Alex. But this is just part one of today's journey. We're heading back in right now because the lobsters, well, they need to be unloaded and we're gonna head over to the restaurant and we're gonna find some great lobster dishes, I'm sure, at the Anchor Pub. And now just a short walk across the street brings us to where the morning catch comes in. at the tiki bar and I'm enjoying myself some great nachos with a little bit of jalapenos that'll warm me up on a nice cool day during the summer but Dot I need a drink to complete the day. I have the perfect drink for you a frozen mudslide it's one of our special drinks here and people love it. You need they this at the it. tiki bar here. You can't sit at the tiki bar without a mudslide. This is absolutely perfect. Now I gotta find out what happened to all the lobsters I caught today. I'm sure we can cook a couple up for you. You can sit over there with Bobby and he'll tell you everything that happens after they come off the boat. Now the Anchor in Beverly may have a large menu, but today we're here just for the lobsters. That's why we're gonna sit down with Bob and find out more about these great lobsters and about this fantastic restaurant. We were out on the fishing boat earlier today and we brought in some of these lobsters. This is not its final destination. The final destination's gonna be in my belly. Absolutely. Tell me about the lobsters here. We get them uh, every day, fresh off the boat, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, twice a day. All of our lobsters come from my stepmother. That's uh, her lobster boat. We spent the entire morning with her yeah. out in the inner harbor of Beverly. What a gorgeous morning to do that. Beautiful, perfect day for it. So you get your lobsters fresh every single day? Every single day, yeah. I have my favorite lobster roll right here, which is the Connecticut style lobster roll. It's probably one of my favorite because I like it warm with the drum butter on top, because it brings out the sweetness. How do you like it? Do you like it traditional or do you like Connecticut style? No, I like it this way too, with the right. warm with butter. It's two of us, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna... Sure. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm getting it all over me. <laughs> mm. Now, that is good. How long has the Anchor Pump been here? It's been here since 1995. My dad, Joe Boudreaux, opened it. So it's a family affair, right? Yeah. You got your stepmom out on a lobster boat, gets you the freshest lobsters in the entire world that can be found right here. Absolutely. And I love the outdoors. The tiki bar, this patio is gorgeous. Yeah, it's been a big hit. We uh, opened this during the pandemic, and it's been uh, a really great thing for us. I could see why. I yeah. could see why. I would come out here 
anytime. I don't care if it's raining. I'll sit out here and have a mudslide in the rain. It doesn't bother me. But you got the tent, you got the umbrellas, we'll keep you dry anyway. Absolutely. Mm. Well, thank you very much for having us today. And let me get out on the lobster boat this morning. That's the first time I've done that. Oh, great. Yeah, it's a good experience. To you. Yeah. And the Anchor Pub and Grill in Beverly. Cheers. Thanks thank you very much. Talk about a sensational day. We start off in the harbor of Beverly, trapping lobsters, and we finish it off enjoying those same summer treats at the Anchor Pub and Grill in Beverly. If you're in the area, enjoy their tiki bar and outdoor patio and definitely a mudslide.